Hello everyone, you all guys are listening to me on Academy Online Platform. This is a biology series for all examinations and this is my lesson number 12. This is the last lesson of the plant physiology part as plant physiology is very lengthy so I have just compiled in the three to four videos. So you all guys are listening to Dr. Ravi Gradi on an Academy YouTube platform. I am a director of Purvanchal IS at Gorakhpur where I am providing you face to face classes with all the LED based faculties. From last 20 years I am taking classes for civil service examination. Two of my books are published on Macra Hill. The one is on science and the second is on environment. Both are highly recommended book to all of you. My telegram channel you can see on the screen where you can find out my all the entire PDF and my all the video links I also share here. My Unacademy profile is unacademy.com oblique at the rate of Ravi Begri 2010. Here you can find out my plus classes and many of my special classes. These are free for all of you. Kindly follow me here regarding all the all the live lessons with me. My code is Ravi UPSC during joining any courses. If you use it, you will get extra 10% discount in your fee structure. Why an academy is the best for all of you? Because widest choice of educators, flexibility of courses, unlimited views of lectures, live mentorships, 178 plus toppers got selected in UPSC 2021 under the guidance of an academy. India's best educator for UPSC, CSE, all are available on an academy. So it is a great opportunity to connect with all of them. On academy subscriptions you can find out plus electronic both my code is UPSC uh, if you use it guys 10% extra discount you will get in plus our iconic combo yeah overall in any of the optional courses so now come into the plant physiology the last part here in this portion I'll discuss with you two two important articles give it the topics the one is on plant hormones and second is the mineral nutrients hormones are the kind of chemical substances again I'm telling you hormones are the kind of chemical substances they have a different type of chemical combustion, maybe some organic compounds or something there. And they are, they are responsible for the homeostasis of the plant body. They are responsible for the homeostasis of the plant body. Homeostasis means automatic internal body control mechanism. Hormones type of feature I will also uh, take in the coming lesson in the case of animal guys. In the case of animals, hormones are very, very important for everywhere guys. For everywhere means in every level of examinations, animal hormones always be you know the examiner uh, you know focused areas plant hormones sometimes you will also get in many many examinations here i brought the entire discussion of plant hormones those may be relevant for your examinations and another part is a mineral nutrients a lot of mineral nutrients what are these i will discuss everything here guys first of all i brought one of the hormone name that is called oxygen oxygen i will tell you this is the main plant growth hormone into every plant body the overall growth of the plant is actually dependent on oxygen. So if those plants have a less amount of oxygen, not proper happen, the overall the growth is not well in the case of in the case of plant guys. And one thing more guys, due to presence of the oxygens, the plant's movement happen. The root is going downward, stem is going to upward. It is because of oxygen harvest. Pathinocorpy type of feature in the banana and grapes is also because of oxygen harvest. What is the meaning of pathinocarpy? Pathinocarpy means seedless fruit seedless fruit okay the banana and grapes have no seed and those grapes have a seed so in that case oxygen is not responsible so seedless seedless fruits in the grapes and banana here the oxygen is responsible even when the oxygen is more into the plant body the number of female character of female flower will increase and see human urine is the richest source of oxygen hormone the human urine if you will apply on the on any of the crop so it will also increase the productivities Definitely you people will worry even want to know sir what is the source of oxygen in human urine. Whatever you people are eating the food and vegetables plant have oxygen and oxygen is coming out through your urine guys. Second hormone is a gibralin. Gibralin is actually responsible to increase the height of the plant. Especially for the internodal elongations. What is internodal elongation? Suppose this is a stem. Suppose this is a stem guys. Stem, stem, stem. This is what this is not. This is what this is not. And in between those gap is there, this is called internal. This is called as the internal. What is the function of gibralin? Gibralin is responsible to increase this internodal elongations. So when internode portion will increase, so ultimately the, the you know the height of the plant increases. So this is the reason it is called internodal elongations. And see one thing more, guys, very simple. Definitely it is responsible for internodal elongation. If deficiency of gibralin hormone happens, the plant will not have a proper height they will suffer with the dwarfism type of characteristics gibralin also protect the plants against the against the cold resistance so the against the cold resistance gibralin is also working there as oxygen is responsible to increase the female less character gibralin is responsible to increase the male character or male flower character into the plant body now go to the next hormone that is called cytokinin cytokinin is responsible for cell multiplication 
Cell multiplication means rapid growth of cell, fastest growth of the cell. Another point I will tell you guys. So massive growth and the fastest growth into the plant because of cytokinin harm. Cytokinin is very nutritive harm, nutritional harm. And here I am telling you guys in the case of coconut water, in the case of mage, if you take the cyto cytokinin guys, so it will good for your health also. Some other hormone I brought here like ethylene, abscessic acid and malic hydrazine. Uh, regarding the ethylene, I will tell you guys, whatever the hormone you have seen earlier, auxin, gibralin, cytokinin, everything, they were liquid in nature. They were liquid in nature. They were moving through the help of xylem. They were moving with the help of xylem. But what is the ethylene, guys? Ethylene are the gaseous in nature. And this is the main and main exception in the case of hormone list. This is gases in nature and this hormone is actually responsible for the fruit ripening. It means whenever the fruit ripening condition will come in that period of time, amount of ethylene formation will increase into the plant body. Next one is the abscessic acid. Even those plants fall their own leaf after certain interval of time. In that area, the abscessic acid formations happen. Suppose this is a stem and this portion have a leaf with the leaf attached. In this area, in this area, have an abscessic acid formation and it will become loose and leaf becomes separate. And another part, guys, those stomatas are responsible for transferations. Stomatas are responsible for the transferations. Again, I'm telling you, stomata, those are responsible for transferations. Okay, those are responsible for the transferations. In the case of transferation, stomatal closing also happened due to presence of abscessic acid. What is the malic hydrazide? Malic hydrazide is that hormone, guys, which is which which in the adverse condition, even in the case of fruit and vegetables, protect the plants. So in the in the adverse condition, how the fruit and vegetables are protected, then the answer is malic hydrazide. Now we'll come into the second part. Second part of discussion is the macro mineral nutrients. Actually, you know, out of 118, 120 elements, those are discovered in chemistry. Here, the, here, here, guys, 16 elements and nutrients are required for the growth of plants. Around 25 to 26 are responsible for the growth of human beings. These all 16 nutrients I have divided this into the two groups. The one is macronutrients and second is the micronutrients. Macronutrients, those are highly important for the plants in more and more amounts. Micronutrients are still required, even less in amount, but still required. The number of micronutrients are nine and number of micronutrients are seven. What are the name of micronutrients? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, calcium, and magnesium. What are the micronutrients? Iron, molybdenum, boron, copper, manganese, zinc, and chlorine. So this is the macro and micronutrients. Kindly remember this. Even now come under some factual data that is very, very important. If I ask you about in the living organism, what is the order of element into the living body? The order of element maximum is oxygen, then the hydrogen, then carbon, then the nitrogen. It is very confusing question. Some of the UGC net examination I have seen. So which one have a maximum amount in the living organism? So oxygen is number one, hydrogen is a number two, carbon is a number three, and nitrogen is a number four. You know, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen is highly present in the living body. If you see your carbohydrate, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen there, your fat, your vitamin, your protein, your hormone, everywhere you see the presence of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So I just finished about the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen according to your examination, what may be important part. Okay, another one now I'm coming into the nitrogen guys. Nitrogen as it is very very important, I am telling you, nitrogen is the main element in protein compound. Nitrogen is the main element in protein compound. It, it is the chief element in the protein compound, yes, nitrogen. And see one thing more in the case of nitrogen. In the even in the case of pulses crop, you know, in the case of pulses crop, you know, pulses have a what? Protein as a compound. Nitrogen fixation is very, very important. And for the nitrogen fixation in the pulses crop, guys, and various bacteria are present into the soil. And main important bacteria, those are doing those are doing the nitrogen fixation into the plant root. This is rhizobium. This is rhizobium. Only the rhizobium was present in the soil, but they enter into the plant roots and form the root nodules. And in the case of nitrogen fixation, it is important. Insectivorous plant, insectivorous plant, actually those plants are eat up the insect as a food. Why these plants eat up the insect as a food? Actually the main nutritive element is the nitrogen compound. Insectivorous plant, the main nutritive elements are nitrogen compound. But they are, they are growing in that area where have a nitrogen deficiency in the soil. So they do not have any other options guys. Okay, insect have about, insect, insect have a muscles. Muscles have about proteins and what is the main element in the protein nitrogen so definitely when they will intake the insects so finally they will fulfill the fulfill the amount of nitrogen supply so that is the reason insectivorous plant and nitrogen fixation is the most important things and nitrogen is the most important fertilizer for the growth of plants 
This is the entire list of the various insectivorous plants I brought here. Dionia, Drosera, Sandew, Nepenthes, Uticularia, Bladderworm is another name, Venus Flytrap, Altrovenda, Dullingtonia, Pinguicula and Saracenia. So these all are the various insectivorous plant name I brought here. The reason, sometime in some of the examination, they give the entire list of insectivorous plant and ask them one only, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. In this case, you must be safe guys. Now come into the another all other elements like CHO and OK. Now phosphorus is not much important to it. Potassium is responsible for opening and closing of stomata. You remember guys. Sulfur, sulfur is the important one. I am telling you. Sulfur is working as antiseptic guys. Even onion, ginger, garlic, turmeric. Those are bitter in taste here also because of sulfur couple. Even two amino acids, the amino acids are the uh, protein units guys. Methionine and cysteine is also I have seen many examination is made up by sulfur. Calcium is still very very important for the growth of plant growth of animal you know bones and all that is very very important but in the case of plant due to deficiency of the calcium guys it causes a wither tip effect it causes a wither tip effect now come the other element like magnesium magnesium I spoken you guys in the previous lecture in the case of chlorophyll structure this is the chlorophyll a compound structure c 55 s 72 o 5 and 4 mg and here you got magnesium as a central element in chlorophyll structure Iron is still very very important for the growth of plant due to deficiency of iron the leaf lost their own, their own chlorophyll content and that is called chlorosis. This issue is called chlorosis. Next one is a molybdenum. Molybdenum work as a catalyst for the nitrogen fixation. So molybdenum work as a catalyst of nitrogen fixation. Next one is boron guys. Boron is working as a translocation of food through phloem. As a root is going to absorb the food through the help of phloem the food will distribute everywhere. Manganese, manganese involved in the light reaction of photosynthesis. So it means if in the absence of manganese happen, so there is no photosynthesis into the plant body. And the next one is the last one is a zinc. Due to deficiency of zinc, a, a rice plant is suffering with the keratitis of rice. So these are the name of the plants, its elements and their own importance for the plant I discussed here. This is my telegram channel where you can find out my all the entire PDFs and a part of this my all the video links. You people can connect me here. My Unacademy profile and academy.com applicant editor Ravi Pegri 2010. Here people can connect me regarding my plus and special classes, which I am taking as in the live here, guys, on this platform. And my code is Ravi UPSC. During joining any courses, if you use the Ravi UPSC code, you will get extra 10% fee discount. My courses of science and environments are running now on an academy in the live lessons. I will advise to all of you guys regarding my classes. Please listen my live classes. The reason is why because science and environment is always changed with the time. It's not like the static subjects. And my courses are available in the plus and this subject will give you 30 to 35 questions. 20 questions you can easily solve after listing my classes and finish my Macra Hill of book guys of science tech environment both. During joining the courses can't use the review UPSC. Physical notes are going to be an iconic only offering soon. 26 August before 26 August if you are going to buy you will get the physical notes also there. UPSC CSC batches of 25th August even started now. Kindly join it for 23 and 24 bilingual batches. Get started with 0% EMI facilities. Kindly join the Academy. And if you people have any problem, kindly call on the given number for loan facilities. UPSC CSC GS comeback is on 28th August at 11 a.m. Don't forget in 50 minutes you must have to give test of uh, 60 minutes and 50 questions. CSC sure is the option that an academy is giving you. If you are going to buy any of the courses two years or more than that day of subscription, so an academy will give you extra year subscription regarding your requirement. So kindly use the Ravi UPSC code and use this. My my contact number is 7825860259. Regarding any doubts or queries, you can contact me directly. So at last, I tell you kindly subscribe the channel, like and share this video, download the PDF, and don't forget to use this bell icon for the further future notification of my all the entire classes. So thank you everyone. God bless you. Meet you soon in the next class with new topics. Jai Hind.